I think you can see the pattern that is developing. The tongue is moving further back on the roof of the mouth. So let's ask the questions again. What are the vocal cords doing? The vocal cords are open. So there is no sound being generated as the air comes through them. The velum is quite securely clamped to the back of the throat and therefore no there's no nasal contribution to this sound and the tongue instead of being on the alveolar ridge just directly behind the teeth is now a little bit further back this sound is rather curious combination of things okay we said vocal cords open so it's voiceless and there's no nas nose in there so it's not nasal and it's between the alveolar ridge behind the teeth and the palate the hard palate it's got this funny name palato alveolar so that kind of means between the two and what happens here when you release it gives the sound ch so it's like a t but when it opens you get friction ch like that ch 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 as in chat chat okay so it's like a t in a way a little bit further back and it doesn't open all the way so the air coming out causes friction and these are called affricates so this is has this awful name palato alveolar affricate let's just call it a ch shall we well of course ch has a noisy neighbor too so let's ask her questions again. Vocal cords here are closing, close together. The air is being turned into voice, so it's voiced. And the velum is clamped against the, the back of the throat, so it's not nasal. The lips are open. Now the tongue is in exactly the same position as for the ch so it's a palato alveolar the only difference is that there's voice so what we have here is the sound j so like a d a bit further back but again when we make the sound the tongue drops and there's friction j j like in the word judge can you feel that friction so we what we have here is we have a palato alveolar voiced affricate. Let's just call it j, shall we? <laughs> so now you're getting the picture. The tongue is moving along the roof of the mouth. So let's ask our questions again. What are the vocal cords doing? They are open. No, no voice is being generated. Where's the velum? It's clamped again, so there's no nasal element. The, uh, the lips are open. Where is the tongue? It's way up at the back, clamped against the velum. And this is the k, as in kink. So the voice you heard there, of course, came from the i not from the k. Okay? So this sound k is a voiceless and the back of the tongue is clamped on the velum so this is called a velar. That's the adjective. It's a voiceless velar plosive. Again, why is it plosive? Because the nose is closed off, the mouth is closed off 
and then you have to explode to get the sound. Kink. Now, the last one in the series for the moment, the noisy neighbour. Again, let's go through asking our questions. What are the vocal cords up to? The vocal cords are coming together. And so they're producing voice. Other than that, everything is the same as for the k. The k sound. Velum is clamped against the back of the throat. The back of the tongue is right up, clamped against the velum. The lips are open, waiting to release the air. So, this one is a voiced velar plosive. And it's the sound G. Again, do the test. Imagine you're going to say the word, for instance, gag. Put your fingers or your thumbs in your ear. Go as if you're going to say gag. Don't say the word. And you'll feel that little vibration inside your head. So, that's all for the moment. Okay? I'll let you digest that.